Um, are these next two? I think it's going to be more interesting because they they both had injuries. They both had yeah. after major injuries, and I think I don't know. You could say that either way. You like that makes them a better player. That makes them like the fact that they came back and they still you know was at the top of the league. But whatever, we're gonna get into it. All right. So next, uh, best version of this player, we got uh, Paul George. We got the Indiana State. We got OKC, uh, and we got the Clippers, the current version of the Clippers. Yeah. Um, I ain't gonna lie. I'm going to tell you, I'm kicking this one off. PG's probably – PG's one of my three favorite players in the league right now. So I'm going to kick this one off. I'm going OKC. Just like just the best version of who they were, like, at their at the top of the top, I'm going OKC. The reason I'm going OKC is because he finished top three in MVP and top three in DPOI. He could have probably got either one or both had he not gotten hurt. And I know that season has a taint on it because Dave, you know, I, like, that's it. It has a taint on it. But, like, like you said, the fact that he can, he was still so good after, especially him, like, he had the gruesome stuff. Like, that's most people, like, G, bro, we was like, we was like shorties watching on TV, like, ooh. I, 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 I was done. I was like, ain't no more Paul George playing, bro. The nigga I, I thought it was over with. I thought he was over with. I promise. I did too. I was like, how do you come? Because that was, it was that, that came like right after Kevin Ware and Kevin Ware was never the same in Louisville. Like after that stuff popped off, like we saw stuff like that. It's just like, ugh. But I think he had more moments like as a pacer, obviously, because that was like at the time his longer like stint. That's probably his longest stint still right now. And we remember him going like going at Braun, going at D-Wade. And I think of like the of the smoke that they got, like that he got out the East, I think the only two people that gave him real work was like Rose and PG. Like, well, we really don't have an answer for, for these guys right now. They just cooking us. And our answer is throwing like the 6'9, 270 dude at him, like just try to stay in front of him. And even then, he was still like, he was smoking Braun a little bit. Like, they had Wade on him at first. If you and you can, like, I forgot what clip it was, but like Wade and Braun were talking about like how many problems he gave him as a pacer. It was like, yeah, we had Wade on him at first. And he's like cooking D Wade. Like, Oh man, we know this dude was like that. He looked at D Wade like, "All right, do, do I need to get him?" And he got one bucket. He was like, "Yep, I got him." Move out the way. But like OKC, like he was everything that came together. I think that's when we see more of like his handle, like get a little bit more cleaned up because he probably got one of the clean handles in the league. I think we first started seeing that when he's OKC and he's just like gaming people, like step back, side step, like relying on that mid range, that three point dropper, and like still like having a few bodies he catch throughout the season. And I think that's also like culminated, like, you know, Russ telling him, like, I, I need you to do this. Like, I can't be the dude that goes get like that's it's detrimental to your team if you have like Russell Westbrook trying to like go and get you 30 a night. It might get you some wins, but it's not gonna be winning basketball. Like, if that makes sense. At the end of the day, it's not winning basketball. You might win because he's just that good, but and then I just don't think he's like I think he's still really good on the Clippers. I just think it's his best version of himself. Like he still obviously has like a handle. We got the jumper and stuff like that. But right now it's just been like injuries and stuff that's been like kind of going on with him too while he's there. It's been his whole career, but especially like in the, like the Clippers, they probably should be favorites out the like West. But because of his injury history and Kawhi's injury history, and like they just can't, it just can't keep happening. But he also was showing out. He was showing his ass in that Western Conference Finals. Was it Western Conference Finals last year? Did they make the Western Conference Finals? Well, I tweeted. No, not last year, but the, yeah, you're right. The year before. What just went through. It was Western Conference Finals. It was the Clippers. Okay, I think I the Western Conference in the second round, but like he was giving work. As soon as Kawhi went out, he was he was going crazy. But I just I just don't think like that's still as good as the OKC version of him. Like OKC version like came out and like as everybody be talking still about PG, nobody had shit to say that year until you know Dane did his thing. Like nobody had shit to say. So I'm going OK, I'm going OKC version of him. I just I just don't think like if you roll the ball out there, I think. He still got some slight athleticism to him, and he like still clamping up, and he's still giving you like just buckets on buckets from every single level. Like you not stand in front of. So the funny thing is with this one, like you were just talking about the Clippers version of uh, Paul George. Yeah, I think that he could be because obviously I feel like people like oh like they ability like oh this person can do something or they can't do this, and I'm like bro if they're not doing it, I don't want to hear what you can do. Like, if you're yeah. on the court, I don't want to hear it. So I think that this Paul George, this current Paul George on the Clippers, is probably the best version of him, but he don't get a chance to show it to mm-hmm. too. I think that's why we don't, like, like, yeah, like you said, Kawhi went out, 
Paul George looked like old Paul George. He didn't look like he was playing second fiddle. But when Kawhi is on the court, he's deferring. It's like, we, I mean, obviously he's going to defer because Kawhi is the better player, but you're not seeing the full yeah. position of Paul George. So I think just off ability, I would go with that Clippers uh, Paul George, but he don't get to show it, he's not going to show it because Kawhi did. So I got to go, I gotta go I Indiana Paul George. But only it's crazy because we ain't, we ain't agreeing on nothing. It's just crazy. Um, <laughs> it's a conversation. But I say Indiana Paul George, and it's because of something you said in there. Paul George was cold as hell on OKC up until the playoffs. But I feel like the, like you said, the I think it's the moments. Indiana Paul George had the moments, but it was also, I, I'm big on playoffs. Like, what you doing in the playoffs? I'm not, I'm not one of the people that's like, all oh, the regular season don't matter. You play 82 games against Pro. That shit matter. Like, that wasn't a fluke. So I'm not saying it's a fluke or nothing, but just like it's like you like he was really going at D Wade, at LeBron. And we need this it's a conversation that you talk about. They say D Wade is a good defensive player. I disagree. Uh, it's a couple moments where niggas been gave D Wade their work. Jamal Crawford dropped 50 on his head. He had to switch off of Paul George. That's a different conversation. Uh, <laughs> but uh yeah, I think everybody gets cut. Yeah, but go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> um, but he, uh, yeah, I think I think that Indiana Paul George had way more playoff success. I think that somebody could argue that you know it's the East versus the West, you know, that's a, that's a huge difference that people can. Yeah. So I wouldn't I wouldn't be mad at that, but um, yeah, I don't know that that, that playoff experience. They got bounced by Utah, the uh, the Donovan Mitchell, rookie Donovan Mitchell, and then they rookie got Donovan. bounced by Dane. I don't know which one was first or second, but. If them your two L's and then you, that was it, right? And then he bounced. Yeah, yeah, because he was he was only there for two years. He was there for that one year after he got traded from the Pacers, and then that second year he signed. He got the, he was there that second year because he signed that extension, and then after that second year, he requested that trade to go to the Clippers uh, to be with Kawhi. I, I well, you, you're not wrong that 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 Donovan Mitchell one is a, is definitely a stain. And my uh man, I don't hear the end of that because my boy that is head though. Yo, Joe, Joe Ingles not talking for sure. Joe Ingles not talking for sure. Yeah, I was going to say Joe Ingles was the one getting the work, to be honest with you. That wasn't even Donovan Mitchell. <laughs> but then, yeah, that was the first year. That was, and that was that was crazy. That was definitely Donovan's rookie year, too. So that's why people was talking crazy, too. Like, a rookie just bounced you out the playoffs, which is definitely, like, something to talk about. And then second year, Dane, like I said. And that's one of my favorite players, too, so that's why I could talk about it. It was hurt, but, like, bye-bye. So it's crazy. Um, uh, but yeah, no, I'm not mad at it. Like this is one of those ones. It's like, like you say, you can't really be mad at any of the answers, but these were like so close because yeah. Indiana Pacers was he was definitely different. He was, and it's bad. Different. I don't. It's gonna sound bad, but I don't. I obviously, it's it's a it's an obvious thing. He just moved way better in Indiana. That's because that's yeah. injury. And that like I can't really think of the last time PG called a like called a body for real like. He don't attack the – and as, as as expected, you don't attack the rim the same after you had a gruesome leg injury like that. Like, you you got to work on your in-between, your float game, like all that shit you got to. But, like, that Paul George, like, uh, uh, catching the ball on Birdman. Um, yeah. Like, just the way he was attacking the rim was way better uh, at that time. But obviously, it's just because it's pre-injury. But so yeah. I'm, not, I'm not knocking him, but I'm just saying just who, who I would take more. Yeah. I'm going to take Indiana Paul George. I ain't mad at it, man. I'm not mad at it at all. That's when I started rock. I was like, I didn't know he was like this for real. Because if you remember at the time, used to think, they used to think Danny Granger was going to be that guy. And he came out of nowhere. He won his most improved. They was like, nah. And also, you know, Danny Granger got hurt. But, you know, the crazy yeah, thing like, is, on 2K, I remember uh, I remember playing with the Pacers on 2K. And I saw Paul George. And I was like, yo, they got a 16 shooting guard? I ain't know nothing about, bro. You fit, you fit like... <laughs> minute you feel me i was like i was like but danny granger the best player like i remember i remember playing the game and i'm looking at them i'm like why is danny granger the best player they got a 16 shooting guard bro and he grew he grew i think he came in like six eight and then he grew like his first year he had another ghost bird it was like what the hell is going on yeah i seen that shit i seen that shit on 2k i was like no i don't give a fuck about no danny granger but i'm taking all shots (laughs) Six ten at the two, man. At the three, if he was at the three, I'd be like, all right, you know, that's cool or whatever. It's this is a little abnormal, but nah, not at the two guard, bro. I and I ain't gonna say like I, I foreshadowed it and I saw bro was gonna be cold, but 
I was just like, nah, sum up. Like, <laughs> sum up right here, bro. Y'all need to get an eye out for this dude right here, man. Y'all like, Bulls need to figure If they don't value this nigga, the Bulls need to do something. Bro, I promise you, I said the same. I was like, if, if I saw him giving them the work, I'm like, bro, get this nigga to the Bulls somehow, bro. Somehow. We need to get him to the Bulls somehow, bro. Uh, I 